So this is Frank. It is the top of the hour, and I am going to be your host today. Clarence will be our uh, moderator for a little bit, uh, just to show us uh, what we're showing you on the screen. Today is going to be really a short version because I have just a very, very little th amount to talk about, and that is the, the training of actually how you get started by getting the five-star reviews out there to all the people that need them. You know, the, the, the country is waking up from its COVID crisis. Businesses are opening up everywhere around the country. They all, imagine if you would, uh, they're all giants of, of, of industry and, and service, and they have all been sleeping. Only the subway screens still showing. For a year and a half, they've all been sleeping. Okay, let me get back to the search then. And um, all of these places have been sleeping. They've been not serving indoors. They've been serving curbside, but they're all lacking money and they're all lacking customers. Now we are in the money business. You know, we lend money to people for to buy houses, to buy fix and flip properties, to buy businesses, to expand businesses, to buy equipment, to open new stores. You know, we are in the lending business for people. We lend money. But one of the things that people need before they need to think about lending money or borrowing money or expanding businesses is they need to get back on their feet. And it's like a gigantic wave is coming right now today. And you, if you're going to surf that wave into the beach, um, you better get ready to start paddling now, not when the wave passes because you're never going to catch up to it. If you have to wait until the wave passes, you ain't going to catch up to it. So you need to start paddling now. And I, on my invitation today, I asked everyone to go do a Google search of any subject that you wanted to, any business that you wanted to, and um, do a report card. I attached the report card to the... Uh, to the invitation today. So you have the invitation and you have the report card. And if you want the training, I'm going to make it available again by just simply going to info one at easyfinancialgroupllc.com and we will send you out the full training. We're not gonna get into that part of it. It's, it's a very simple training, 15 minutes and you're done. If you, if you go through it twice to make sure you got it all, 30 minutes and you're done. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. And here's basically what the training is. Because I, I don't want to split my screen, I'm afraid I'll lose the screen because of, because of um, the Zoom. Um, I'm going to just flip back and forth between screens, hopefully. And... Clarence is going to keep me informed. So, Clarence, what are you seeing on the screen right now? Uh, I'm looking at um, railroad, Delhi, uh, subway, and a map to the right of that. Okay. So, what I suggest is is everyone do a Google search of any kind of business in your area. And I like sub shops. I like pizza places. I like beauty salons, doctors and dentists, lawyers automobile dealerships, but anything that's in your community that they may have more than one of, drugstores, um, anything that any uh, customer-oriented business, grocery stores, small grocery stores, um, maybe Dollar Generals, you know, just small, small places that are either independently owned or they're owned by Franchise ease, or, and like Subway, for example, all franchise, and uh, Jersey Mike's, and all of those guys are franchises. Uh, but people that are responsible for their own advertisements, their own local advertising, the company, of course, takes care of the national advertising, but these guys take care of their own local personal advertisements, nail salons, um, exercise places, 
You know, the list goes on and on and on. It's just everybody is waking up like a sleeping giant. These businesses are all waking up and they're hungry. They're hungry for customers. They don't have any customers. They haven't had any customers coming through their doors forever. Now their doors, I'm in North Carolina. The, our governor has finally lifted the restrictions. So now you can, now North Carolina is open for business. I hope the state that you live in is also open for business. If it isn't yet, it will be shortly. And then when that happens, or not even when that happens, before that happens, you should be riding the biggest wave of your life. Now, I don't say that lightly. This is the biggest wave that anyone in my lifetime, and I'm 72 years old, this is the biggest wave that, that I've seen in my whole lifetime. Every single business right now, every single business is screaming for customers right now. And what do we do? Well, we fund businesses, but before we fund businesses, don't we have to get them back on this on their feet? Don't they need to be fundable? Yeah, they've got to have customers. They've got to have bank reports. They've got to have um, a track record of doing business before anybody's going to lend the money to do anything new. They have to get themselves, pull themselves up by the bootstraps and get moving. And that's where you come in. The biggest wave in my entire lifetime of 72 years, and I'm sure more than that, is people coming that are that are desperately needing uh, business, they're desperately needing customers coming through the door, and you're able now to catch the biggest wave in, I think, the country's history. I don't remember any time in my lifetime, at least, where the country, and maybe the Great Depression, coming out of the Great Depression, but we didn't jump out of the Great Depression. It took a long time for us to get back up on our feet. But right now, this is, is as bad as it was during the depression with every business closing and nobody be able to buy anything. And now everyone is coming out of that deep, deep slumber and they're getting themselves back up on their feet. So it is ultra important. I know I'm beating the heck out of that one phrase, but. It is ultra, ultra important that you help these businesses back to their feet. And the way you're going to do that is to get customers in the door. And the way we're going to do that is by getting five-star reviews for people. This is my area. This is my town where I live in this area. And I did a simple Google search. I did a Google search for sub shops near me and in my current location. And if you do a Google search like this for yourself, you'll get all the people near you. Then you can go do a Google search for the next town over and the next town over and the next town over. I don't expect you to go drive around all of these places. Um, I think I've been asking everyone to do that so that you could get instant cash in your hand um, you could close more sales when it's face to face, but I'm going to switch up just a little bit today. I'm going to tell everyone that if you're not willing to go face to face in front of all of these places and get a sale instantly on the spot, if you're not willing to do that. The very least you should be doing is doing a report card, which I'm going to show you today, doing a report card and getting it into the hands of the people who need this report card. So here's a national chain subway and they have a 2.9 rating. That's very, very low with a whopping 13 people. Now this has been in business for years. They should have a whole lot more than 13 reviews but they only have 13 reviews. So this subway, here's a railroad deli it's a 4.7. Again, only 94 reviews. What is it? People don't like them? Well, our software encourages people to make a review quickly within, you know, within hours, within days. 
they can do reviews and you can see the five star reviews coming in quickly. Now, if there's a negative review, that impacts the place dr drastically, very drastically. And negative reviews, as well as positive reviews, stay on Google forever. They're always there, they never go away. So if somebody had a bad day, the people had a bad day, and they went to the restaurant, and they got a sub, and they weren't particularly happy with it, and they made a nasty comment, it would stay with this sub shop forever. It never goes away. And the only way that you can overcome the negative reviews is to have good positive reviews. This sub shop has 4.7, that's pretty high, but they've been around a couple, several years. They've been around several years. We had 94 people in several years. That's insanity. Okay, they need to have much more than that because the more reviews you have and the higher the stars you have, the more clients that you're going to get walking through the door. If you go up, here's a different subway in a different part of the area that has a 4.0, but still only 51 reviews. Here's Jersey Mike, my personal favorite, and it's 4.4 stars, which is pretty high. It's not as high as it could be with 549 reviews. Well, that's a good number. I mean, it should be in the thousands, but at least it's been 500s. Here's Jersey Mike again in a different location. This is a 4.5 with 336. The point I'm trying to make is the ones who have the most stars and the most reviews are going to be the ones that people are going to frequent. They're going to go to the ones that have the most stars and the most reviews. And what your job is, is to get those, the number of stars up and get the number of reviews up. And when you do that, that's what's going to help that company to grow, to get customers in the door. And what I always say to these to the people is, if I can show you how to get tons of new customers through your door, would you give me 15 minutes? That's in the training. And so when the people say, yeah, sure, absolutely, I'd do that. Then you show them the video. Now, you let the video do all the heavy lifting. You don't have to explain it. You don't have to tell it. You don't have to show it. You have to do anything. Just let them see the video. There are two videos that they can watch, why you need reviews and how to get those reviews. So pretty, pretty easy stuff. You let them see the videos and you watch their head bobbing up and down saying, oh my God, yes, I need that. Ah, yes, this is what I need. Yes, 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 this, is, this will help. And then you just tell them how much it costs and then you write them up. It's pretty simple stuff. Now, they may not understand where they are. And so they may not understand where they are in the, the scheme of all of the clients because when you do a search, only the top ones come up. You have to click the view all to get all of these to pop up. Basically, only the top handful will show up. And if you see something like this, that means they have an ad. They're paying, paying for an ad. They're paying Google to advertise. That's what this means. So here, this company is is paying, this Arby's is paying for an ad. They get 4.0 with 780 stars. That's, that's, that's a respectable number, at least. These are not respectable numbers, 132. They're not respectable. 457 is getting there. All right, so here's what we do. I'm gonna go back down to, um, I'm gonna go back down to Subway the one I had on the bottom, they use, okay, I'm going to go to these Jimmy Jones and I'm going to copy Jimmy Jones. I'm going to copy that, copy, and I'm going to open up my thing. Tell me, are you seeing my um, report card? Clarence, are you seeing the report card? Clarence fell asleep on me. Is anyone seeing? No, I wasn't. Yeah, I see it. 
I, I had I had my mute was on. <laughs> okay. All right. So um Jimmy Jones was 3.6 stars with 123 reviews. So there's Jimmy Jones, stars with 3.6 with 123 reviews. All right. Now I'm going back. Do you see Little Dinos? No. Clarence. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, I see is a, a black square in the middle of the screen. How about now? Now I see it. Okay. So Little Dinos, I'm going to copy it. And now, do you see the... Um, Jimmy John's under there, number four. Okay, all right. You do see the the, the uh, report card, and he no, was four. He was four point two stars at two twenty eight. So four point two at two twenty eight. Two two eight. All right. I think I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to go down here to Subway. I'm going to grab Subway, copy that, and it's 2.3 at 15. Control V, 2.3 at 15. 2.3 means somebody was really, really mad at them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I hope you get the point what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the, the name of the company. I'm dropping it in there by copying, pasting. I'm typing in the, the number of stars they have and what their score was. And now what I'm gonna do is, uh, by the way, you still seeing the report yeah. card? Yeah. All right, so there's my report card. You would fill this out, okay? All of the different places you would fill it out. Then you would come up here to this up here that says A to Z, okay? And you'd go on the letter C, you'd click on the letter C, you'd click on the A to Z, and you want it to go from, from highest to lowest, so that Z to A, and sort. And what has happened is the highest one came to the top and the lowest one floated to the bottom. If you had 15 or 20 beauty salon, doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs, pizza places, nail salons, you name it, whatever it was, if you had the whole bunch of them and you did what I just did, you click on the C, so you highlighted that column and you went over here and you highlighted this A to Z. <sighs> okay, if you did that, and you clicked it, it would sort them out where they stand. Okay. Did that, did, you, you, you punched on column C, right? Yes, because I want to yeah. sort on the number of reviews. Right. Okay. Did it change the name and the... Let's see. Okay. I'm going to click on C again. All right. Watch carefully. This magic trick. I'm going <laughs> to click on this. Now I'm going to sort it. A to Z. Watch the magic trick. Ready? Okay. Where's Little Dino's? At the bottom now. Okay. <laughs> and so, and Jimmy Jones is in the middle where he yeah. was before, and right. somebody's now on the top. Right. But that's not how we want. That's not how report cards work. Report cards work. Let's reverse it, and we want Z to A this time. Done. Okay. Gotcha. If you do that and then you physically go to Subway and you physically say to Subway, if I could show you how to get tons of new clients through your front door, would you give me 20 minutes? And they said, yeah, come back at three o'clock because that's when restaurants are not busy. If you, if they said, if you did that, then great. If you didn't want to physically go there, you could do this. You could print out 
fill these all in, you know, all of them and sort them. And wherever you are, I would start from the bottom and work up, of course, from the bottom and start working up and say, Mr. Subway, you're down at 2.3 stars with only 15 reviews. Um, if there's somebody new coming into town and they want to know where they should get a sub, are they going to get a sub from you at this 2.3? Are they going to go up to Little Dino's at 4.2 with 228 reviews? Well, I wouldn't buy from me with that. So, yeah, I mean, if I was coming into this town and I didn't know where to get a good sub at, I might do a review and oops, I think I'd go to Lil Dino's. They seem to be the best in town. That's what I would do. And that's what everyone else does as well. So I'm talking to Mr. Subway. Mr. Subway, do you want to be at the bottom of the pack? Let's say there's 20 of them. Do you want to be at the bottom of the pack? Or do you want to be way up at the top of the pack with Lil Dino's? And he said, well, I'd like to be at the top of the pack. Well, I got great news. We have a software that automatically asks each and every one of your clients to give you a review. We set it up a number of different ways. It's completely automated. It completely runs in the background. You don't have to do a thing. We set it on your computer. We set it on your system and you don't have to do a thing. It does everything completely automated. And what it will do for you is if somebody does give you a 2.3 star, which is not a good rating, what we'll do is we will internalize that, meaning we'll send it to you for your attention. We will, not, we will not send it to Google. We'll send it directly to you, not to Google. If they come with a four or a five, like here, it will automatically go straight to Google. So consequently, you can now address the issue so let's say, for example, you had me coming in your door and I was unhappy about something and I gave you a 2.3 rating. You would get an email saying, Frank stopped in your subway on Wednesday and he gave you a 2.3 rating and here's Frank's information, his phone number and email. So they might, Mr. Subway might call Frank and say, Frank, what went wrong? What, what happened? And I could say, well, I was just having a bad day. I didn't, you know, whatever. And I spilt my drink and I was just all ticked off. And I, I'm sorry. What can we do to make it better? I, I don't know. How about if I give you a free sub on your next visit? All right. That would make me feel really good. All right. Now you see the subway has an opportunity to take a negative and turn it into a positive. But does he have to? No, he can just completely ignore it. He doesn't have to address it. But if he does, he's a good business person and he can he can earn that <laughs> high school. So- Good morning, Globe Saints, can I help you? Yo, <laughs> want to mute yourself? <laughs> All right, so here you go. This is the report card. How did I get it? It's real simple. I jump over here. I jump over here to uh, the Google search. I did a Google search of any business, any business at all. I did my search. I found my name of the business. There's a bunch of subways around my area, as you can see. But I did a, I did a search of the business. I typed in how many stars and how many reviews. Now, you can send this information. You don't have to physically go there. I just clicked on Subway and look what happened. It popped up over here. This is giving me the address now. This is giving me the phone number if I wanna call them. And now if I wanted to send them an email, here's their website right here. So I have all the ways I need to contact this person. So if you don't want to leave your house yet, you don't want to go out face to face yet, but you do want to start saving these people's businesses, 
you can do it by email and phone. So you can you can create the report card like I just did. And you're back on the map now. All right. Now, do you see where it says Subway? Yeah. Okay. And do you see where, it, when I clicked on the website, it showed the website? Uh-huh. Okay. And when I clicked and I brought it down, did you see the phone number? Yep. Looking right at it. Okay. All right. So you have all of the information you need to do this while you're staying in home or well you're if you're recovering from surgery you can do it from your hospital bed you know you can do this without having to physically go in uh, face to face with the people i like face to face because it gets an instantaneous re decision all you have to do is tell them what it costs now and tell them how much it's going to cost to do this they say, yes, that's very cheap in comparison. Our software runs anywhere from $200 per month, and you get residual income on that, $200 per month to $500 per month. And it does three different things. It does the reviews, it does reputation rebuilder, and it does SEO engine, that's search engine optimization if they have a website. It does all three of those things for less than the other companies charge for one of those things. It does all three for less than the, co the nearest competition. So we beat the pants off of the competition and we're less expensive, obviously. If we're less expensive and we're far, far better, we're light years ahead of the competition, it only it's, it's a no brainer. They don't have to think about it very long. It's a no-brainer. You don't have to think about it very long either. Uh-oh, I got an appointment coming up. Okay, let's, how do I get rid of that now? Okay, let's get out of there. Ah, come on. Why does this happen? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, it's back. Okay. All right. So you don't have to think about it. They don't have to think about it. It's drop dead easy. Our program is drop dead easy. 30 minutes and you become a total expert on our program. You know everything there is to know about it. It's really, really simple. Um, and our program is... Uh, you can't find a better deal. We're giving 50% commission and there's absolutely no upfront cost to you whatsoever. Um, let me just, let me start right almost at the end. Um, okay. All right, I'm gonna start with what your kit comes with. It comes- Extraordinary entrepreneur. Okay, and, and what does your kit come with? I will tell you in a minute. All of the training links that you need, all the sales links that you need, all of the business links that you need, and all of the special pricing that you need to get the business. What is not in your kit, I'll tell you, is 50% commission and 100% no commitment on your part. You don't have to commit to do anything. Just do the work and you'll get paid. No, 100% um, no investment. You don't have to pay any money of any kind or any hidden fees at all, period, nothing. And no risk whatsoever. There's no risk to you whatsoever. You can start doing this and you can start making money instantly. A 50% commission is a very, very generous commission. As I said, you can sell this product anywhere from $200 per month to $500 per month, depending on the volume of the store that you're working with. You and the store owner can work those, those arrangements out. I have it preset. You can go by my preset rules or you can work it out yourself. You don't even have to call in to make an exception. You can, it's no risk on your part whatsoever. Uh, and this is your chance to earn income by simply helping businesses get customers. This is a residual income business. 
these people don't advertise once and then forget about it. These people pay for advertising month after month after month after month. You get a commission check on every single deal you did, every deal you brought to the table. You get Let's say it's a let's say it's a hundred dollar commission or a hundred and fifty dollar commission per one store, you would get that hundred and fifty dollars this month, next month, the next month, the next month for twelve months in a row. And if they renew their contract, you can continue on. And most people will renew their contracts because it does what it says it's doing. It does give them the SEO optimization on their free advertisement is what that means. They'll get a ton of free advertisements that, and they also get um, reputation defender. They are, their bad reputation. If any, if anyone was giving them negatives or derogatories against them, those negatives and derogatories are withheld from Google searches. So they, Google will not get those negatives or derogatories. So that means even if they do, somebody does mess up sometime and it happens, it doesn't have to stay with you for the rest of your life. You can, you can do this on the side. You don't have to quit your day job. If you want to do this on the side, you can do it on the side. You can do this from home. If you're afraid to go out of the house for COVID or for whatever reason, you could do it from home and you don't need any experience. The system does all the selling, training, and explaining. You don't need to do any of that. The system takes care of itself. The system does all the heavy lifting. You only have to learn one, one phrase. If I can show you how to get tons of new customers, would you give me 20 minutes? 15 minutes usually. Would you do that? Would you give me 15 minutes if I could show you how to get tons of new customers? Yes, I would then you don't need any money for deals. You don't have to pay for the software up front. The client pays for the software as he gets it. And you don't need to have any kind of special licenses in any state. You use my license. You use my credit card processing. You use my uh, commercial bank account. There's no need for you to spend any money for any reason. Only thing you do is make money, period and you're helping businesses getting paid, you're helping businesses and you're getting paid very well to do so. This is a great opportunity for you and you can start collecting your own paychecks without the, the typical hassles of any other types of business like real estates or like mortgages or anything that takes a long training curve. You have a 15 minute training curve and if you want to go through it twice, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, all you have to do is ask for the training kit. You already have the report card attached to your invitation. Uh, all you have to do is go down and download the report card that I've, I was using just now. Download that and then go to info one at easyfinancialgroupllc.com and you can order your training kit and you'll have everything you need to get started today you do not have to go physically to the to the businesses that you want to call on you don't have to go to the doctor the dentist the lawyer you don't have to see anybody face to face you can just make the report card show them where they stand on the report card print it put it in an email mail it to them however you want put it on a postcard however you want to get it to them get it to them and just ask them a simple question do you want to be at the bottom of the pack or do you want to be at the top of the pack why are you in business to be up at the top of the pack all right so let it's me another no-brainer so let me just go back one more time can you see that report card again Yep, looking right at it. Okay, so looking at the report card, what we did is we went and we did a Google search. We made a list of all of the, I'm doing sub shops, but all of the sub shops that are in the location could be all of the restaurants in a location. 
Could be all of the restaurant. Somebody's got to mute themselves. You got a lot of noise coming back, somebody. Thank you. All right. So you can just make a list, do a Google search of, of any type of business in your area. List out all of the all of the businesses, 15, 16, 17 of them, whatever number you do. You come over here to C. You come over here to do an A to Z, or actually it's a Z to A search. Z to A. Sun is down, freezing cold. That's how we already know. When it's here, my dog will probably do it for That's, that's great rapping. That's, that's great rapping, but this is not the time for it. I tried to show. Uh, I'm going to... I tried to show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So it's a drop dead, simple, easy job. Easy, easy, easy. There's no income. There's no um, cost to you. There's no expense to you. There's no risk to you. And again, we have this ironclad income guarantee. This is ironclad guarantee. We stand by it 100% uh, income guarantee. If we absolutely guarantee if you don't do anything, you won't make any money. Guaranteed. <laughs> double back, double your money back guarantee. You didn't pay anything, we'll give you twice as much back. Double your money back guarantee. If you don't do anything, you won't make any money. Guaranteed. Now, what I want to do is I just want to put that up on the screen one last time. See if I can make that full screen. I think I should be able to. Ah, of course. Okay. Anyhow, let's go back all the way to the bottom. I go all the way to the bottom. There you go. All right. Here's your, your link. Info one at easyfinancialgroupllc.com. Send me a request. Say, I want the training kit. Info one, I-N-F-O, number one, at Easy Financial Group, LLC. Dot com. I ran a little bit over. I wanted to stay, keep this at a half hour. It's now 40 minutes. So I want to thank each and every one of you for spending the time with me during the middle of the day. Appreciate it. I you do have right. a quick question. Okay. I have a quick question. Go ahead, Diane from Denver, the okay. Mile High City. I see, yes. <laughs> yes. Now, what if we approach a business, whether in person or on the phone, or, and the person we speak to says, well, I don't have the authority to make that decision. What should we do in that case? It's a good question. Sometimes you have a manager there, and the manager really doesn't have the authority. He might need to get to the owner. So you just simply ask him, okay, if you could pass this information along to the owner, I'd appreciate it. And just ask the owner if I could show him how to get tons of new customers through the door. Would he give me 15 minutes to talk to me by phone? And if they say, well, yeah, then just call him up and send him the information that you already sent to that other person and or ask that person to forward the information to them. That's it. It's a piece of cake simple. May I inject something? Sure. <clears throat> and this is for all of you that may hear any business that you go to just simply be sure to ask may I speak with someone of authority the manager or whomever before you do any presentation of whatever and you, then, you, then you've got the right source that somebody that can, that can make a decision you want to make sure that first of all that you're talking to the right person that can make a decision because if not you wind up um, putting energy in places that you don't necessarily need to be. That's 
that and I, that that come from experience. Yeah, and I and I agree with that. Having having the right person in front of you makes a whole lot of difference. Yes, and, and even even though it's only fifteen minutes, um, you don't want to waste fifteen minutes. You know, that's right. And you certainly don't want to get into an hour long conversation about why you wasted fifteen minutes. Yeah. Because now you wasted an hour and fifteen minutes. Yeah. And you could have been on to the next person. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, Thank you. That's all that I had to say. Um, anyone else have any other questions before I say sayonara? Now make sure you order oh. this because if you don't order it, you're not going to get it. It doesn't come out automatically. So info one at easyfinancialgroupllc.com. I have a question. Get today, go ahead. You had said earlier about there were three three major things that you do. One of them was review, and the other one was reputation. And what was that third one? SEO. Uh, SEO is search engine optimization. The search engine optimization happens generically. It's called organically. The more reviews you get, and the higher the numbers you get. Google just generously gives you advertising dollars, whether you pay for them or not, whether you're running a Google ad or not, you start getting advertising dollars. You start earning them just because of, of the organic traffic that's now currently coming. Okay. So if you got 10, if you got 10 people coming to you because of five star reviews, Google might throw another two or three on top of that 10. So now you get 13. You keep growing like that and they keep, they keep the more you grow, the more they throw on top of the pile free. So that's, okay. S, that's SEO optimization. Then a reputation defender, they prevent you from getting negative reviews by internalizing them, sending the review to you, not to Google to prevent Google from keeping it up there forever. And then the last one, of course, is five-star reviews. You get the five-star reviews, and then that causes the clients to want to come to you rather than go to the next person. Right. Okay. Those are the three, three powerful things that we do. And we run anywhere from $200 to $500 per month, and it's a residual basis. You get paid. Well, ever and ever and ever, as long as they as long as they keep paying their advertisement budget, then the, you keep getting paid, and you don't stop at just one, two, or three. You can just do it as you can get hundreds and hundreds of these to be giving you a hundred dollars a month. If you had a hundred of these giving you a hundred bucks a month, that's the lowest price, and a hundred businesses, my God, you wouldn't have to work too hard. The residual would be amazing. Yeah. All right. With that, make some noise. With that, you know, Dion, Diane wants me to make some noise. So go ahead and make some noise. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah.